Hello, this is Mark from Two Dog RC. Today I'm going to answer a couple questions I got in an email. I think the best way to do this is to put out a nice video so people can see it and get some information from it. Basic question is what are the numbers on a battery? What do they mean? Basically, what we're going to be talking about is the C rating, amp hours, and volts. We'll start with volts because that's the easy one. In a lithium polymer battery, you'll have one, two, ten cells. Each lithium polymer cell is equal to 3.7 volts nominal voltage or 4.2 volts total charge. So when you put two cells in series, like a 2S pack as they commonly refer to that, you're adding 4.2 plus 4.2 which gives you 8.4 total volts. If you add another bat battery cell on top of that, that brings it up to 12.6 volts. And the reason this is important is because this is the power so when you have an electric motor and you're adding more volts to it, the motor will spin faster without a, given without a propeller on it. So if you have a motor with a KV of 1000, KV is revolutions per volt, you add a three cell battery on there, it's 12 volts, that motor will be sw spinning at 12,000 RPM. Now obviously that's going to be different when you pr put a propeller on there, that adds a load. But basically your volts tell you how fast your motor is going to spin, or how much power that your engine has. The next number on there is the milliamps. This is the gas tank of the battery. A 3000 milliamp battery can last longer than a 300 milliamp battery. So when you're determining flight time, the higher the milliamps, the longer the plane will fly. Doesn't make it more powerful to have a higher milliamps, it's a longer fuel tank. However, you can't just simply add a bigger battery to an airplane because now you've added weight and that will affect the flight time. So but basically a bigger milliamp battery is a larger fuel tank. The third number is the one that seems to confuse most people. This is the C rating of the battery. Uh, when I first started my business, we started with 5 C batteries, if you can believe that. Now we're up to 70, even 100 C rated batteries. What the C battery C rating means is how much can this battery discharge without being destroyed, basically. There's not a lot of companies vary what this exactly means on their particular product, but basically a, a C rating, like a 10, let's just take a 2200 3 cell with a 10 C rating. That means you take 10 as a C rating times 2.2 amp hours, so that which would be 22. So a 10 C 2200 battery can output 22 amp hours continuously without any damage to the battery. Now, let's say you now have a, a better battery, a 60C battery. So you have a 2,000 milliamp battery times 60C, so 2 amp hours times 60. That's a 20, 120 amps the battery is capable of outputting uh, of power without the battery being destroyed. Some people say some people lie on their C ratings. They may. Uh, I'm not here to judge that. We're just talking about the numbers today. So basically a C rating is how much energy the battery can output. Another good example is a sewer pipe. Let's say you have a small sewer pipe that's only a foot wide. Let's call that a 10C battery. Then next to it is another sewer pipe that's 10 feet wide. More water can flow through the 10 foot wide sewer pipe than the 1 foot wide sewer pipe. So more energy can come out of the 60C battery or the 10 foot wide sewer pipe than the 1C battery. This has nothing to do with how much current your motor will pull. Some people get this confused and I can see how. The battery is just power and you're, it's capable, what a system is capable of doing. Really to determine what's going to restrict your power supply and everything is the propeller. Um, putting different propellers on is going to draw different currents. It doesn't matter as, per se as much what rating to see the battery is or how big it is. The propeller is going to determine how much current can come out of those batteries. And these three things are very important to know because one, you have to understand how to set up your system. Two, know that your system's not overpowered or overpowered. So for example, you have a prop on a motor that's pulling 80 amps and your battery is rated at 10 C and it's a 2200, that's only capable of putting out 22 amps. You're gonna destroy your battery probably on the first flight. So that's a, some good things to think about there. So again, the, the volts of a battery is how much power it has. Uh, the milliamps is the gas tank of the battery. How long are you going to be able to fly? 
and the C rating is how much it can output, is capable of outputting. It doesn't mean that it'll always output that much, but it is capable of outputting that amount of power. If you have any more questions, you can check 2dogrc.com or shoot us an email at sales at 2dogrc.com. We'll be trying to add some more of these videos to help people out with their electric questions. For now, I'm Mark, and have a good day.